What's up, up explorers? explorers? Welcome back to our channel. It's the Choose here from Choose to Explore, where we teach you guys how to see the world. And save a dollar. So we're here in the beautiful, beautiful island of... Nassau, Bahamas. So we just decided to come here because we saw a one-way flight for $87. And you know our motto is see the world, save a dollar. So we're over here for four days. So it was a really quick flight, only about two and a half hours from New York. And then we just had to fill out a really quick customs form as soon as we landed. And from the airport, we took a cab for $35 for the four of us because I didn't even mention, we're here with the family over here. So that's my mother-in-law and my brother over there. And we just checked into our Airbnb. So we're here for three nights and we got a great rate here. We're a little bit out of the way, but it helped us save a ton of money here in the Bahamas. So our Airbnb is cool. It's the four of us, so it's a one bedroom, but it also has the pull out couch where we'll be staying. And it's not really in the downtown area, so that helped us save a lot of money on this trip because as you guys know, the Bahamas is expensive. There's a lot of cruises here, so it's a lot of tourists. Everything is imported, so it's expensive. So we want to save as much as we can, and we got this beautiful Airbnb. So we don't have a rental car today, so we are on foot, and we're walking to the supermarkets to get groceries so we can save on some food costs today. So check it out, let's go. Good morning, good morning. It's day two out here in Bahamas. I got my little bro with me. And we just went back to the Super Value to go get some change because we're about to take some jitneys to get around, which are like the local buses. Um, and it's exact change, the dollar twenty-five, but we didn't have any Bohemian currency, so we just went to the store just to get some change. So show them the money, Trish. All this money, big money, big money. So we just got downtown. Um, we just took a bus, we took the 10, and it dropped us downtown. And it was only a dollar twenty-five per person. And we're here downtown. So let's check it out. Alright, so we're downtown and it's really beautiful over here. It's really colorful. A lot of pastel colored buildings, there's a lot of luxury shops too, and they tie in a lot of the old with the new. And we didn't know this, but it's actually their 50th anniversary of independence here, so lots of really cool decorations. So we just got off the Jitney and we are at our first stop. It is a hot day, so it'll be good to relax at the Montague Beach. Now, this is a beautiful beach. It looks like it's a local beach, or maybe there's just no cruise ship, so there's not a lot of people here, but it's a really calm beach. The waves are really nice and serene. What would you say about it, Liv? It's just very calm, very beautiful blue water, and not a lot of people. So, let's enjoy it. Another cool thing about this beach is they also have a fort which is Fort Montague here at the Montague Beach. It's a tiny fort to be honest with you guys so here's a look at it. Our next activity was a tour with Shore to Shore and Captain Ron. We had a nice relaxing boat ride with some of the most amazing blue water I've ever seen. We stopped, put down the anchor, and snorkeled at our first spot with so many fish. After here, we went to Rose Island. Alright, so the first spot was super dope. We saw a ton of fish. We even saw people scuba diving down there. But we're here now for the pig show, and that's the next spot. You see, I got two cups of that rum punch. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but we're about to get on the island and hopefully see those uh, pigs. So stay tuned, y'all. This beach had beautiful white sand and an amazing shade of blue. We were given apples and skewers and they let out the swimming pigs. Release the Kraken! It was amazing to interact with them and my mother-in-law even got to hold the baby pig. From here, the rum punch was flowing and we stopped at our last spot called Turtle Island. Alright, so we're here. Right across from Rose Island is Turtle Island and let's see if we can go see some turtles. Where we were able to spot and see over seven turtles and I even snorkeled with a stingray.
What a truly amazing experience with Shore to Shore. I highly recommend booking with them. All right, and we just pulled up to the poop deck, which is right here in the Marina Bay. And it's beautiful here, great views of the water. And our food just came out, it looks fantastic. I got the catch of the day, which is a blackened snapper. I got the peas and rice and the plantain. Tristan got the salmon with the fries. Olivia got the grilled shrimp with the rice and peas and the plantain. And mother-in-law got the same as well. Food is fantastic, I highly recommend it here. We just got a rental car, it was $50 a day. We're having it for two days and this is gonna give us a lot more flexibility to go around the island, so let's go. And not only that, it'll help us save a lot of money because these taxes here are expensive. Taxis, not yes, taxes. Yes, the taxis are crazy, <laughs> crazy expensive. <laughs> Just pulled up to Atlantis. This is on Paradise Island. We had to take a bridge. I paid $2 for the toll to get over the bridge. It was a long bridge ride over, but we're here at Atlantis. Unfortunately, there's no public parking, so we had to pay $20 for valet parking, but we're here to see Paradise Island and Atlantis Bahamas. Mother of Pearl. All right, so right here in Atlantis, they have this beautiful aquarium here, and it's free after five, so we're here, you know, if it's free, it's for me. And it's beautiful, they have these amazing, huge fish here, right? Oh yeah, we're checking out all the fish. They have their own little characters, their own little cliques going on. They look like the teenagers up top, the little ones down below, then you got the stingrays, they're like the police rounding up everybody. And it's beautiful because there's so many different kinds of fish here and they're all humongous. So this is crazy. We just left the aquarium and we walked out and we saw Shake Shack. So I was not expecting to see Shake Shack here in Atlantis, but it actually just opened up two days ago. And look at this, we have the aquarium literally right behind us here. So we went here and the Shake Shack is a little different than the ones we have in New York because you can actually buy liquor here. Well, you can buy like cocktails here. Um, I got the Sunset Shake because it was a Bahamas exclusive. They actually don't have this in New York. And we also got two root beer floats, and Tristan got a lemonade, and it is pricey. All together, this was a 38, 39. Yeah. Okay. And it's really cool, at the top of the aquarium, you can actually see all of the fish from above. So I highly recommend it. I know you can't see me because it's late at night. It's actually 10.30 right now. So, let's head on out. Good morning, good morning. It's day number three here in Bahamas. And today we'll be exploring, as you see, we got the rental car. So we're gonna go downtown and see what we could get into. So stay tuned guys. just got here at the Bahamas Rum Cake Factory and it's super cool it's right here in downtown and being Jamaican I'm used to rum cake but this is a little bit different flavor so what do you think about it Liv? We actually tried the pina colada rum cake and the pecan rum cake and they were both so good they were so delicious so moist it was hard to choose which ones we wanted <laughs> so the thing here is that they have free samples that you could come here and try we had two different flavors but they have like over seven different flavors that is over here that you can try and the best thing about it is that it's cruise ship approved as well as airplane approved
pulled up to our next spot, which is Fort Fincastle. So yesterday we showed you guys Fort Montague, which is actually the oldest fort in all of the Bahamas. So it's about $3 per person in order to enter. We decided not to enter, but here's some views of it. up to our next spot which is the queen staircase and i'm not gonna lie it is beautiful here it's limestone all around it has so much greenery and it's so beautiful but with, with the, the beauty, beauty there is a dark history so this area was designed by over 600 slaves and it was hand carved with a chisel and hammer it took over 16 years and no dynamite was used so while it is beautiful the past is a little dark so just something to know All right, so we're just now leaving Tasty Teas, which is a really cool little experience. So pretty much you can walk in and they will give you free samples of the teas. And all the different teas have different type of health benefits. Um, and they also sweeten them with agave. So it's really, really good. We ended up getting a bag of Moringa tea. So check it out if you're out here in Nassau, Tasty Teas. All right, so we just got through with the John Watling Sicilian Rum Tour. And it was a really cool experience. So right here, there's a free tour, and we walked through the house, we learned about the history of John Wadling and the different rums and uh, vodka that they have here. So they actually have four rums that they make in-house and one vodka. And the best part about it is that it is only sold and distributed here on the island of the Bahamas. So you can't go anywhere else in the world and get it. So yes. definitely come here and support the Bohemian Rum. And yes. it's really good as well. <laughs> get the pina colada, guys. Definitely exclusive. <laughs> Alright, so we just made it here at Great Cliff Chocolatier as well as the Cigar Company and this is the first and the only chocolate company in the Nassau Bahamas. So I highly recommend checking it out here, it's locally made and if you guys want to come here they give you free samples and you can go around and do tours of the factory and make your own chocolate bars for an additional price. So I highly recommend it. All right, so we just pulled up to the fish fry, which is where you're supposed to be able to get a ton of local foods here and a bunch of different vendors, so let's go. All right, so we are here at Big Yard and we walk down the fish fry street. There's a ton of good local restaurants here, but this one, the guy outside told us that they have free concreters for here as well as local prices, which includes $13 snapper, so you know, Good prices is where we, I'm gonna stop. Um, so I ended up getting the chicken and snapper combo with rice and beans, plantains, and um, coleslaw. Olivia got the jerk shrimp. Um, my mother-in-law got the snapper and the fried shrimp. And Tristan got the chicken and snapper combo. So pretty good food here and definitely more local prices than we paid so far. All right, so we're at Twin Brothers right here on the fish fry, and we got these mixed drinks. It's actually not mixed, it's mixed with pina colada and a strawberry daiquiri. No liquor for us, but only $4.40 for this, and definitely need it on these hot days. And we just pulled up to the world famous straw market, and it's beautiful here, and it's super convenient because it's right across the street from where the cruise port is. So it's a great place to come and get your souvenirs. just made it to the most popular beach here in Nassau Bahamas. It's the closest one to the cruise port as well and it is Junkanoo Beach. Alright, so we just pulled up to Saunders Beach. It looks like it's a local right. beach, beautiful white sand. So, sun is out, let's check it out. Oh. All right.
right, so we just pulled up to the caves here in the Bahamas, and it's literally right across the street from where the beach is. And it's beautiful, it's cool. As soon as you walk in, you see a throne. So the two ladies stayed behind and sat on the throne. Tristan and I went down into the cave, and as soon as you walk in, it says, danger, enter at your own risk. But to be honest, there wasn't any real danger. Uh, we went down about 15 steps and we saw some fruit bats, maybe about 100 bats, but they just fly over you guys um, and didn't cause any problems, but it was cool to see. It's a nice quick activity and mo most importantly, it's free. So check it out. All right, so we just got to the beach that's right across the street from the island caves and this is probably my favorite beach so far. It has the softest sands and the water is a beautiful, beautiful greenish blue and really clear and calm, uh, calm waves. Spritz to get takeout pizza. Um, we got two cheese pizzas, um, and I'm not gonna lie to you, this pizza is horrible. I would not recommend going here. Maybe if you guys sit down and eat, it might be better, but. They have a lot of other things on yeah, the menu. Yeah, there's a lot of other things on the menu, but their takeout pizza, I thought this is what they're known for, but clearly I don't think so. So. Yeah. Right, good morning, good morning. It is day four here in Nassau, Bahamas, and what do we have planned today? So we're going to be beach hopping, going to see different sides. Because it's our last day with the rental car and our last day here, we're going to go to beaches that are a little bit outside of the downtown area, so stay tuned. Alright, so we just got here at Nisbet's, which is traditional, authentic, bohemian food, and it's good affordable prices, especially here for breakfast. Um, I got an omelet and I thought Johnny Cakes were pancakes, but it doesn't look like they are here. They're like bread with bread and butter, like cornbread and butter, but it's pretty good. Olivia? Yeah, I kept it simple, straightforward. I got scrambled eggs and grits. Mother-in-law got the sardines, sardine salad. She got the sardine salad with grits, which is kind of like a tuna salad. It had lime, so it was a little different. But pretty good. And Tristan got the Johnny Cakes and the Eggs and Grits. So pretty good here. So we just got here to the Pirate Staircase. It's all the way on the west side of the Nassau. And it's kind of hard to find, but if you have Google Maps, it leads you directly to the location. Um, it's a pretty steep staircase. We got here during high tide. Um, we can't go all the way down, but it's beautiful to look down at. Um, Darren went down. <laughs> I'm not going down any further. Right here in Clifton National Park is Jaws Beach. And it's called Jaws Beach because Jaws was actually filled here. So let's chill here. All right, so we just got to Adelaide Beach and this is another beach that's along the south shore of Nassau, Bahamas. And this really could have been my number one picked beach. Um, however, just like Coral Harbor Beach, there's a lot of tree residue along the sand and in the water, but the water is so gorgeous. It's so warm. The waves are calm and there's swings to swing on in the water. And it's just a really nice area. And it's only us here. I don't know if it's just today, but literally it's only the four of us here. So it's, it's amazing. So we just went to Chippy's, which is right inside of a gas station, and they have really good, affordable meals. So I ended up getting the french fries, Darren got the chicken tikka masala, and my brother got fish and chips, and so did my mom. So they have lots of variety, they have Indian food, they have Asian food, and they're really affordable. Alright y'all, 
just like that. Our time here in the Bahamas is over. Man, it was amazing. Beautiful beaches, great food, great people, swimming with pigs. I mean, four days, I don't know if it was enough, but definitely loved it here and being on a beautiful island in Nassau. So thank you guys so much for watching. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here watching with us and we truly appreciate that. So please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.